We started the installation with the bare walls of concrete blocks. The owner removed all siding and wooden trims from the walls and prepped for installation. The first step was to apply blue bonding agent on the walls to ensure that the stone would properly bond to the wall. Then we laid our first course of stacked stone. This layer of stones had to be perfectly level to establish our elevation for the rest of the stone wall. We started the installation on the facade of the house. This wall was triangle shaped on the top with a window in the middle. We mixed our mortar with thinset for ease of working and mixed it with water to a sour cream consistency. We buttered the back of each stone with the mortar and applied them to the wall one by one. At the top of the window, we also added a few supports for the stones from picket fence to hold the first row of stones. When we reached the top triangle section, we needed to make some preparations. We installed a sawn cut wood beam as a trim to divide the wall in half. I pre-drilled the holes on the beams and adhered them with long tap cons. After the trim was up, we installed a layer of waterproofing membrane with nails and galvanized roofing caps. We then added a quarter inch thick cement backer boards for reinforcement. The cement boards allow the best bond to the stone veneers. We applied bonding agent and a thin layer of thin set mortar and installed the rest of the stones cutting each stone parallel to the angle of the roof. After finishing installation on the front, we moved to the adjacent garage walls. Installation method was the same. Pop some guidelines, butter your stones, install them on the wall, and check for levels and repeat. On inside corners, we cut each stone in 45 degrees and buttered them together to create seamless corners. I recommend using an angle grinder to grind down imperfections in the top of the stone veneers. Around electrical outlets, we cut the stones to the box to perfect round shape. In areas where we needed to elevate the stones a bit, we used yellow spacers to raise them a bit. After installing all the stone veneers, I sprayed the walls with paver sealant. The sealant enhanced the colors and provided protection for the stone veneers. Overall, the installation came out nice. What do you think of the outcome?